Good morning and welcome back to Nuremberg. I'm Rich Nass, Embedded Computing Design. I'm here with Pedro Lopez Estapa and you are the director of the automotive? Director of automotive at okay. RTI. For RTI. Uh, these guys are deep into the autonomous drive space and um, you can get lost definitely when you go deep into autonomous yeah. drive because it's pretty complex <laughs> stuff. But what is the state of the art right now with autonomous drive? So we are trying to help the industry make the trials that are required in order to get into the autonomy. It's a little bit challenging, especially out of California. Mm -hmm. Many of our customers, which are not in California, they're really limited in their trials. So we are starting to be level four autonomy in the in the field, but really limited. So the legislation does not allow them to go farther than cities in, in the U.S. and a few other locations. What about outside the U.S.? So there are implementations like uh, DECRA, for example, is an example of that, that they create these fake cities where OEMs really? can go. Yeah, in south of Spain, for example, they created recently a, a large one uh, where they create a fake city with all what they believe it could be interesting for autonomy. You can test uh, from a stack to real systems to sensors, and then they ask the OEMs to go there and, and test their, their vehicles. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, and it, is it open to anybody? It's open to everybody. Uh, we are trying to get as much as we can, especially with our teleoperation capabilities mm -hmm. there. There is a lot of V2X, there is a lot of DSRC. So there is start to be more and more of those systems. But uh, until, for example, recently I was talking to, to the national uh, vehicle control in Spain. They are really not there in the legislation. So they are really afraid of setting vehicles in the roads. So we are starting to work with companies trying to get like control vehicle domains in the cities, but still really early. And it's not like in California, you cannot walk in San Francisco without seeing an autonomous vehicle down there. Very good. And where does RTI fit into all this? So we are essential for the success of these companies. They have a lot of sensors and they have a lot of communication that they need to, to bring from those sensors they into the vehicle, the OEMs, okay. everybody actually, many of the of the solution providers come to us asking us, hey, I need access to that and that signal. Let's go and work with the OEMs and try to bring it there. So we are playing a double uh, act here. In one place, we are really active in consortia, mm -hmm. trying to standardize hardware, trying to standardize the software and the communication within the vehicle so we can optimize the time to market. And in another side, we are working already since several years with all the innovators, mm -hmm. bringing autonomy through communication from sensors to central gateway to the operation in a simpler manner. While standardization is necessary, does that s slow the process? Uh, actually, it's slowing down the process because uh, the hardware vendors don't want to become like a commodity. Mm -hmm. And that's been, uh, when you talk to the OEMs, they talk about the standard hardware, standard platforms. And they feel like, oh, is this going to bring me in a corner where my my product is going to be tagged with five dollars and that's what you get. So they are trying to even to get farther than that. Uh, Arm, for example, we are recently joining uh, Sofi Consortia driven by Arm, which is a hardware vendor, uh, and they are driving software there. So they need to reinvent themselves to bring more value out of their hardware components. Good stuff. Thanks, Pedro. Thank you.